Hi guys, in this video I'm going to very briefly show a uh, common, uh, a very useful uh, technique in um, controlling the input of uh, in Excel. So let's say for example we want uh, someone using our spreadsheet to input a certain number that let's say has some further implications down the sheet. But basically over here as I've stated we need the number to be between 0 and 25. So if the person puts something, the, the, the user, the end user, puts a number outside of this range of 0 to 25, let's say a number like 26 or negative 10, 5, they should not, they should get an error message or some kind of sign that the, what they did was not appropriate for this, the, the uh, cell okay so the way we do this is we can use the if function combined with the and function okay so let's build this up let's say this is the input cell here and let's make this cell orange okay and here is the cell that's going to give us a message whether the input was okay or not okay and it's going to be okay if it's between 0 and 25 include including 0 and 25 and it's going to say not okay or if the number is outside of this range okay so now that we understand what we're doing let's jump right in let's do, do equals if and the logical test here is is not just one test so we can't just say if this cell is greater than 0 and then move on to OK and not OK because we also have to account for the fact that it has to be less than or equal to 25 right so we have to use an if and then inside the, in the if as our logical test we have to use the AND function the AND function I've done videos separately on if functions and AND functions on nesting these things together so be sure to watch that this is just a very practical application of using those okay so the AND we want to test here is we want to test if this cell over here which is the cell that the people are going to be inputting numbers in is greater than or equal to zero that would be the lower bound that would be the first thing we want to check the other thing we want to check is again if this cell is less than or equal to 25 because it can be less than or equal to 25 and greater than or equal to zero now if both of these things are true and only if both of these things are true comma we want it to say okay in other words you inputted a, a, a reasonable number and if both of these things, one of these things, or either of these things are not true, right? We want it to say not okay, and we put these in quotes, okay? So what we did is we nested an AND function inside an IF function, okay? And we hit enter, and here we get okay, because our number is three. But let's say we put zero. We get okay, we should. How about 25, okay. 13, okay, how about 26? Not okay. 26.5, not okay. 25.1, not okay. How about negative three? Not okay. Three, okay. So you see, this formula allows the person inputting the data to know whether their input is correct or not. And you know, maybe it would have helped out to, to call this something like, um, uh, maybe H right and this is some place where you know you have to be between 0 and 25 uh, to be okay and move on as a silly example uh, but you know you get the point so if it's, it's between 0 and 25 and everything in between we're gonna get an okay over here and if it's outside that range like 26 or 1 million it's gonna be not okay Okay, so I think you get the point. So this was just intended to be a very brief intro to creating some kind of uh, control for inputting data into Excel. Okay, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, and have a great day.